You're now tuned into Sykes Weekly Nerf Dosage. Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome to episode 102 of Pwned. This is the first half or the first part of episode 102. You can click over here to watch the second part. But the reason why this episode is broken up into two parts is because it's both tied together by the same uh, overhead, overlaying, over overarching uh, subject, which is 3D printed accessories or parts for Nerf blasters. And this episode is all about Gavin Fuzzy's stuff. So, um, he does quite a lot of printing stuff, uh, uh, 3D printed design stuff, uh, and it's really, really awesome. And, uh, you know, because Zorko, the other, what, whom I'm focusing on on the other episode, he's, um, you know, in charge of, or oh, I wouldn't say in charge of, he's, he's focused on more, uh, performance based mods as opposed to cosmetic looking mods but also this episode is all about Gavin Fuzzy's cosmetic mods as well as some practical stuff so let's skip everything and go ahead and check it out first of all let me give you a very quick uh, look at what he actually did now I'm gonna show you my raven right now and uh, you guys can see that my raven has a really cool uh, barrel attachment so I'm gonna go straight into the nerf muzzle stuff that Gavin actually shared check it out quite some time back you guys actually saw me uh, sharing this uh, particular 3d printed muzzle piece for the retaliator barrel and uh, I mean some of you actually saw it on Instagram and some of you already see it, saw it or seen it seen it in my video during that time and as you can see it just slips off and um, there's this square piece over here that goes into this slot slides on the nerf barrel itself and uh, this front piece over here is a detachable piece that uh, attaches only onto this barrel over here and it does not uh, fit onto the nerf barrel let me just get a spare nerf barrel that I have uh, right here okay nerf barrel doesn't slip onto the nerf barrel as you guys can see it is too loose uh, it just spins really freely so this is not uh, compatible with the nerf barrel only compatible with this AK uh, sight so I'll give you one more look at it first and then we'll be going to, we'll be going to uh, compare it against Gavin's stuff. So this is the barrel itself. Okay, now I present to you Gavin Fuzzy's 3D printed muzzles. Now we'll start from here. This is the AK muzzle piece that he printed. Oops, my bad. Uh, the AK muzzle piece that, I, that he printed. Okay, and then we have muzzle or flash suppressor version A. So this is design A and this is in blue. This is in one of the colors that he's actually able to print it in. And then we have muzzle attachment or flash suppressor version B. And the version B, one thing about it, it looks really cool but it is a bit uh, soft and on the end because it lacks support but uh, it looks really cool. And this is version C. Okay, as you guys can see it's like the crown where this is like uh, it smashes glass if I'm not wrong. Yeah, and uh, Yep, this one over here is known as the birdcage version of the attachment. So it looks like a, I think that's the official name. It's called birdcage. As you can see, it's really, really uh, nicely made in orange. And this is called the Evo or Evo. And yeah, it, it looks really, really sweet. Uh, so these are the five that he has currently as of now. But you'll notice that there are some other pieces over here on this side. And these are the, oops, my bad. These are the adapter pieces now what these do actually help you attach them onto a nerf barrel now i'm going to quickly take a uh unmodified or unopened barrel just for your reference oh yeah i have some slide dev parts over here remember slide dev you guys yeah so uh, i would like to take this opportunity to say i want to give them uh props and credit and respect for being one of the very first few people who actually did 3D printed accessories for Nerf and this is a 45 degree angled uh, iron sight set so uh, yeah I miss slide dev hope that you're doing good Joey uh, you know it's been a while so I'll be hitting you up soon just to talk and see how life is but anyway going back to Gavin stuff this attachment is also done by Gavin and uh, to attach it is the same as how you're going to attach this onto your retaliator barrel so I'll get to attaching it in a short while but just know that he printed Picatinny rails for the front of the retaliator barrel but you can see that it's uh, holding a stock nerf barrel on the inside so what one of these adapter does is especially the small one like this the narrower end sits into the barrel like so it's friction fit 
Then grab, say for example, blue, a muzzle that you like, and this starts on top. And everything is friction fit, perfect for your barrel. So there we go. Looks pretty sweet, huh? Right, so what I like about the fact that Gavin actually took the time to do this is because the original seller that uh, made all these uh, muzzle pieces on Taobao did not account for different options that different people want to attach their barrels onto. He kind of made them in a quote-unquote solid or fixed state meaning to say like for example when you guys saw this this muzzle attachment is made only to fit onto this AK side piece so there's no way for you to make this fit onto the original stock barrel unless you put e-tape or you adhere it on some way or somehow you can however get the same piece with a different ending so it would fit the nerf barrels so on and so forth but what Gavin did is allow for such uh, you know variations so what you can do now is if you have a barrel attachment for example and the front orange piece is removed and we're going to use the retaliator for example leaving this uh, stock nerf barrel exposed you can just buy a barrel uh, a muzzle attachment anyone and slip it on to this because they natively fit above as you can see it's all friction fit all the way to the end so this is perfect it's not going to drop you guys can see i'm actually holding it the via the four barrel attachment itself um, i mean muzzle attachment so just to show you guys the versatility there we go um you can have it this way as well the evo muzzle so this looks really really sweet uh you can have any barrel that uh, any muzzle that you want and attach it to any barrel you want in any way uh even like this with the use of the adapters now you guys notice that there is a third adapter this is actually for the stock nerf muzzle pieces and i'm gonna get uh a blaster to illustrate this to you here i have a raven uh, and you can see that this is a stock nerf muzzle piece so what you're going to do is you're going to use this instead this is the other adapter so this one's this one's going to be touched on later this one is for slipping into the barrel on the inside if you guys have the orange piece on the outside of the barrel attachment okay now this one over here goes into the front muzzle attachment piece as you guys can see it's a friction fit like this then you get any barrel that you want of your choice and slip this on top and so it's everything is just purely friction fit exactly like that this is perfect you guys can see it's a really beautiful muzzle piece uh, i can take it out and um let me just uh find a place to put this uh raven give me a second guys and i will bring in a retaliator just so i can show you guys the versatility so now i'm going to use the same thing fit into a retaliator as you can see it's perfect uh some barrels though like this one uh is a bit loose and given did uh in tell me that it's to do with the different batches and the different molds that they actually use uh, over time there are some uh you know discrepancies there's some uh, minor alignment issues and minor um, measuring issues so all you have to do is just put a little bit of e-tape and it'll fit perfectly so let me grab the strife uh, and show it to you guys as well here we go okay so i already separated the two pieces gonna get this one fit it on the strife as you can see now for the strife it's a really nice fit okay and uh, let's use uh i don't know let's use the evo attachment and then just friction fit it in and it looks absolutely awesome you guys can see the strife is just so sweet all right uh yeah of course you have this and you have this so very good job uh these are the muzzle attachments that fit onto the nerf barrels now all the nerf muzzles so now i'm going to explain to you guys what this last adapter piece is for and that is for this bad boy over here which is the ak side attachment now this uh has to go in from the front like that on the most uh widest end this way and then you get the muzzle attachment of your choice so let's say i'm gonna go for the white one which is this guy over here and i'm gonna just friction fit everything in place first of all okay this is what it's gonna be okay so we got this attachment now i have a retaliator barrel that i have already unscrewed but uh first of all in order for you to attach this onto the retaliator barrel now this is actually natively made to go onto the retaliator barrel same way that uh, you guys are gonna install this piece over here so you want to remove all the screws 
remove the orange front piece which is really easy just two screws and then they, they split into half and when you're opening up the front barrel i just want you guys to take note that there are two uh you know nerf attachment little spring pieces as well as the one attachment piece over here that clips onto your uh, main blaster body itself so be careful of all the exploding springs in case they explode in your face you don't want that happening all right so we're just gonna open it up really carefully oh i think i did not undo that screw how stupid of me okay here we go so undo the screw exactly like that okay so screw goes there all right and then we're gonna split this half now we look at this guy over here you can see that he's actually being held in by this little nub over here so we're gonna lift this up and out you can see the nub over there get rid of this guy get this guy okay first of all make sure you're on the right end because one end is actually shorter than the other so the longer one's gonna be at the front you're gonna slip this on because this is a friction fit all the way to the end like so and then we are going to make sure that this guy fits into this nub over here and these go back into the slots where they belong so it's like this right there and this on the front and bam so this now sits in place the same slot is supposed to go into another slot on this 3d printed picatinny rail piece just take note of that all right so now that that's done we are going to close this guy up so that we can show you what it looks like and i know that this screw is just sticking out the wrong way i'll just get rid of it come on out fella try to some magnet skills and okay so yeah uh these two screws are loose i'm just supposed to tighten it but this is what it looks like as you guys can see it's it's really really awesome and uh you know that when this guy's in it's never going to come out because of the nub over there and uh cosmetics wise this is just so awesome let me just take the uh other one which is right here and this is the top bar one let's tie this back into place like so and uh you can see that it's slightly looser than Gavin's fit which I prefer uh, I mean I mean prefer Gavin's fit and whatever you want me to <laughs> whatever you want to think about what I just said but here we go um yeah this is it look at that look at the the difference top and bottom Gavin's has much more details Gavin is more like a AK site and uh, the top one is more like a I think it's an M16 site so yeah um bit more squarish Gavin's a bit more rounded and uh, he's got some nice detailing going on here as opposed to just a square piece like that and uh, in terms of the size you can see that Gavin's piece is a bit smaller which looks better on a Nerf barrel as compared to this because this looks a bit oversized but yeah good stuff really Gavin good stuff now apart from just muzzle attachments Gavin also makes some practical um, attachments we're talking about things like uh, attachment for iron sights. Those are four iron sights. Of course, they're 3D printed, but they look really good. He also does a uh, Nerf to Picatinny uh, adapters or converters. He also made the Strife front attachment piece in two versions, one for Picatinny rails and one for Nerf rails. Uh, and that's in case you want to use his uh, iron sight attachment. And also, he made the very, 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 very practical, very, very good uh, and very smart clip release lever that is a drop-in and replacement piece drop-in replacement piece for the strife the demolisher as well as the rapid strike now i don't own a rapid strike but i do own a demolisher and a strife and you guys have already seen it before in my previous videos but i'll showcase it to you guys in the same video and in this video i'm actually covering the installation of the clip release lever as well as the uh front attachment for the strife so check it out and this is my strife and it already has a 3d printed clip release lever but i want to install this bad boy into the strife and i pick this gray because it matches this gray see and it matches this gray see so i thought it'd be a good replacement all right let's uh open up the strife am i on the right side yeah i am uh the strife has already been uh unscrewed so I am just uh, opening it up. Let's let's do this nicely, guys. All right, got the top half of the shell off, and uh, so you guys remember uh, back then that uh, Slidev actually had a strife rail attachment piece, but uh, we're going to replace this with 
this and it's really really simple um oh yeah you guys can see that i've already semi modded this drive it's more or less stock but it doesn't have the the uh whatever lock over here so just lift this up and out and then you're gonna get this and let's see the orientation is it this way no it's this way should be this way yep it is okay so there's a nub over here and this nub has to sit into this uh little circular slot just like that okay and you know what Gavin actually gave me a different color of this so let's just go ahead and change it out because uh yeah, you know white gets dirty after a while but the white matches the shell so nicely i just want to change it up just so i could show you guys okay so uh he's given me one in orange and uh this is what it's gonna be just slip the orange piece over make sure it goes in, the nub goes in like that get your screw back and uh screw it down in place and uh, and then we are good to go oh sorry guys wrong side my bad see my stupidity um yeah it should be like that instead yes i'm sorry guys wasn't thinking straight but that's how simple it is and uh, there you go new um release mech. okay it's a bit tight i shall loosen it up a little bit just very slightly and there we go perfect and just get the other half of the shell and put everything back in place and there we go so now we have a strife with a new uh rail piece this is this is a nerf uh piece over here as you guys can see it's a nerf rail and that's perfect man i would also like to mention that he actually has another version where it's picatinny rails as you guys can see so he has one for nerf attachments um and this is for you know things like um the sights and everything or whatever gavin's printed things that are you know are just attachments without points external third party attachments and these are for picatinny rails so yeah, he has them in all colors uh, that he has available, meaning gray, orange, blue, white, and black. So five different colors. It's installation is so simple. Uh, the end result is always fantastic. It's good. It's uh, like the term was called practical. Uh, it matches the blaster very well. Nice accents over here and here. Um, just evens everything out. And I think that this is really sweet. This is for the Strife. Now, apart from all these cosmetic mods, and the practical mods, if you guys are interested in internal performance mods, go check out the other half of the video because you will not be disappointed. It's also 3D printed stuff and it's just amazing, so go check it out. Alright, so now that you guys have already seen all of that, I will just showcase again the Raven, just in case you guys missed it. Uh, this is the four barrel attachment with the AK muzzle. And uh, or the AK site with a uh, bird cage muzzle on the front, and this is an orange. And uh, just to share with you guys the comparison, let me just get the other barrel, which is right here, uh, just so that you guys can see that given stuff uh, is slightly small in size and looks way better on Nerf stuff. So, this was the original attachment that I had on my Raven, and as you guys can see, the sight is a little bit oversized as well as the muzzle which is kind of long but you know I'm pretty sure that the uh, Taobao seller actually modeled this after a real firearm or at least some airsoft parts so I'm going to put this one aside and I'm going to attach this one back in uh, place and as you guys can see it's way more proportionate and on top over here is Gavin's Nerf to Picatinny rail converter now i would like to bring this to your attention because i think he did a really good job with this now as opposed to the the one on Taobao, which is um you know held in place by screws uh versus the one made by the original slide dev so big props to slide dev for actually starting off this whole 3d printing uh 3d printed nerf accessories game slide devs was a site where you actually uh, screwed it into the side and held on to certain uh, slots on your Nerf rail uh, and versus the um, narrow base one which is purely friction fit but check it out Gavin actually has this little clip over here this nub that actually sits into this attachment piece on any part of the rail of your Nerf blaster so you just basically slide it on like so and you hear a nice click like that and then it's held in place so I'm gonna just uh, Attach it to this over here. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, I think it is. Look, very nice um, because, you know, the, the ridges here will not be affected by the ridge over there. And let's check this out on this 
over here. And what if I change sides? Wow, that's possible too. Check it out. So it's really good. Whoa. Okay, I don't think this one. Yeah, this. Hey, wait a minute. Actually fits. There we go. Okay, sorry guys. I wasn't using enough force early on. It also has a very nice G fuzzy motif that's Gavin's uh, moniker for his stage name. So yeah, uh, I'm going to put this Raven aside right now and I'm going to showcase to you guys the Strife and what it looks like right now. Please give me a second. Well, bam! This is what the Strife looks like now. This angled foregrip is purchased off Taobao. This was made by the Taobao seller. But if you guys can see, I've used the adapter. I put in a uh, muzzle piece. I believe this is uh, this is design C. I have the Strife uh, front nerf adapter rail and I've attached Gibbons iron sight over here, the front and back piece. As you can see, the front piece is just uh, the standard point and the back is a circular aperture. So that's really, really cool. I have his clip release trigger uh, release lever so it's way easier to remove a clip just with your thumb like that and pull down the clip. Or you can also do the traditional way of using your middle finger with your when you're revving up and you want to change your clip, you don't have to keep the moto, the flywheels revved up, just push forward and pull it out. And I think this is really, really cool. Um, one of my favorite products from Gavin really is the lever release trigger. That's really, really good. Good job, Gavin. But check it out. This is the Strife. It looks absolutely awesome. Uh, good job, man. Good job. Really, really, really good job. Uh, all right, next up. Now you guys know, Gavin actually makes really good looking muzzle pieces. Gavin makes really cool looking iron side attachments. He makes Nerf to Picatinny rail converters. He made the Strife, uh, he made the Strife uh, front attachment piece in both Picatinny and in uh, for Nerf applications. He also made uh, the, uh, the clip release lever. But did you guys know that he also makes nameplates that you can attach onto your blasters? Just stick it on. Check it out, I made this one for my girlfriend. It says Black Diamond because that's her stage name. And this is now her retaliator sporting a blue uh, design A muzzle piece. And uh, this is attached onto the front using the adapter. You guys can see it's just really sweet. Nice bubblegum pink uh, shotgun grip by Ray. Another 3D printed item which is really good. Local designs rock. And um, this is just amazing, it looks it looks so, it looks so stock. Look at that. It just looks like this font over here. Does it even have color? Oh yeah, it does. And it's the same exact shade as what is here. And this is really, really crazy. Now, uh, just a disclaimer that Gavin would like to share with you guys. If you guys are going for an attachment uh, style like this, for example, the one where you have to add an adapter on the inside of the orange barrel, just make sure that you have um, a strong enough spring power because that at the end makes the exit uh, port really really narrow and there's a chance that a dart might just knock into that and not exit the barrel so please take note of that okay um, the best would be really to remove this and then have an attachment that goes on the outside but really it's all about your choice you guys have a thousand and one ways to actually customize the way your barrel or your blasters look now so this is really really sweet and I am so in love with this blaster right now uh, kind of jelly that I actually spent so much time and effort making this blaster just for my girlfriend but what the hell right uh, Ah, oh well. Last of all, it's something that I've been wanting to share with you guys ever since. You guys already know that my red long shot has Zorko's 3D printed rifle barrel on the front. And for those of you who have given him feedback that you know, hey, it's just like a little tube that sticks out, not so cool. Well, check it out. I put the Evo attachment piece on. If you guys are interested in finding out how I did that, go check out the other half of this episode. But, ah oh man, it's really sweet. Now look at that, it's just so cool. Bam! Uh, it's just like a culmination of everything together. Just all these 3D printed accessories. Oh my gosh, I told you guys, right? I told you guys, I really like the way that this whole new, whole new dimension of uh, Nerf or Nerfing has uh, has risen up ever since the introduction of 3D printed accessories but look at this now it's just really crazy the way you can actually customize the look of your blasters and using 3D printed accessories to actually enhance the performance of your blasters this is off the hook and I really like this direction I cannot 
wait to see more. I'm so excited to find out what other people have in store. And if you guys go on Taobao and if you guys go on to, you know, different websites, you can actually see a whole lot of crazy, crazy, crazy and very beautiful 3D printed items such as like things like Nerf to Nerf clip holders. Uh, you can actually find stuff that Narrowbase has actually done like uh, clip holders itself, uh, not just two clips into one, but the clip holders itself that goes onto Molly uh, slots on your vest or your battle battle belts and whatever. Uh, you can also find uh, dart holders. You can find so many things. It's just crazy. So we've come to the end of this episode. Uh, you guys can, of course, click the annotation to go to watch the other half of this episode. But if not, uh, thank you so much for sticking throughout and I hope that you guys like it. If you are interested in getting any of this stuff, good news for all of you. Shipping is worldwide. Big thanks to hobbymods.net for doing this. That site is gonna be crazy. It's featuring, uh, you know, 3D printed accessories from Osnerv Nerd, from Jodacast, these two big names, and of course, the one and only Gavin right here from Singapore. Uh, oh man, and it's not even going for a high price. Just go check them out, guys. Of course, if you want even more stuff, like uh, your traditional iron sights and everything that the original OG, I would call him the OG of the 3D printed accessories for Nerf Blasters game, would be Slidev. So go check out Slidev also. Now, uh, if you guys are interested in finding out more about what Gavin does, go check him out. I have put up some links to his stuff in the video description. Go click below and check him out. He's on Facebook, he's on Carousel, um, and of course the Hobby Mods website. So if you guys like this episode, I hope you guys give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, I hope that you guys consider subscribing. And don't forget to go check out the other half of this episode. Thanks once again for the support, everyone. Uh, till the next episode. Jules paid the bills and Timo makes the dream work and I have no idea why I pointed at you but I just did anyway. See you then. Peace.